Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe now. Since its launch in 2012, the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 has developed a reputation for being the muscle car of the Camaro lineup. The debut of the 2017 Camaro ZL1 helped change that perception with its more track-capable performance. And now the surprise reveal of the ZL1 1-liter E turns the idea that the model is only good for burnouts completely on its head. The model also gets the DSSB spool valve dampers that debuted on the Z-28 and just recently made it to the Chevy Colorado ZR2. The suspension features an adjustable ride height, solid-mounted front struts, adjustable camber plates, a hard-mounted rear cradle, and an adjustable rear anti-roll bar. The DSSV dampers contribute to weight savings of roughly 60 pounds compared to the standard ZL1 with its magneto rheological shocks. The other big improvement is aero. The ZL1 1-liter E gets a carbon fiber rear wing, aero deflectors and dive planes, and a new front splitter. The beloved float eye also returns, and the front grilles have been enlarged for better cooling. All LT4s have a new supercharger lid to reduce heat. The ZL1 1-liter E will only be available with a 6-speed manual transmission, just like the Z-28. Why not just call this a Z-28? Chevy says that name is reserved for naturally aspirated cars, and wouldn't rule out a true Z-28 variant in the future. For now though, consider the Sur Z-28 successor. Camaro chief engineer Al Oppenheiser said this model is not your daily driver but it is a little more of a daily driver than the Z-28 was. Each ZL1 1-liter E gets a black hood wrap, clear carbon scoop, black taillights, and satin black mirrors. The car also gets Chevy's ELST, Positive Traction Management System, and Performance Data Recorder, PDR, as standard. The brakes are unchanged from the standard ZL1, and it has all the same launch and line lock features. Pricing hasn't been announced yet, but figure around $63,000 for the 2017.